What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and in this video we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the new upcoming 2021 Ford Bronco. Now keep in mind that I'm recording this on July the 3rd so depending on when you're watching this video I hope you guys have a great 4th of July but a lot of this is going to be speculation a lot of it will be actual fact confirmed by Ford Motor Company. Uh, so what's going to happen is Ford Motor Company is going to unveil the all new 2021 Ford Bronco on July 13th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And at that point, they're going to uh, basically work with ABC, ESPN, and even Hulu to debut this thing live on all of those platforms. The Hulu will actually be ready available the next day, but ABC, ESPN, and I think National Geographic are going to show three three-minute films by some big filmmaker, put it right there on the screen, as you can see, Ford sent us an email describing all of this. And the second that those films go live, at the exact same time, you'll be able to go to Ford.com and actually spec out and place your reservation for the Ford Bronco. Now, the cool part is, is that is really kind of taking a page out of Tesla's handbook where they'd have this live reveal or they'd have this reveal of their product. You can go on their website, place the reservation. And then with Tesla's situation, like if you ordered a Tesla Roadster, maybe you might get a car in three or four or five years. But in Ford's situation, this is gonna be a 2021 year model. And uh, I'll have a little bit more guesstimates on when, exactly when this thing is gonna be available here coming up later on in this video. So make sure you don't go anywhere. But what's going to happen is you go to Ford.com, you will pick out whether you want a two-door, a four-door, or you want the Bronco Sport. That's right. At that live event, they're going to unveil all of the family Broncos all at the same time. As you can see right here on the screen, there is a teaser image that was going to be coming from Ford's social media. It was actually leaked out. And so you can clearly see that it's going to have a two-door full, I say full-size Bronco. It's not a full-size Bronco. It is a Jeep Wrangler competitor. So if you think of the new Bronco, don't think full-size 95 Bronco. When I say full-size, I mean you have a bigger Bronco that is a two-door and a four-door, and then you have the Bronco Sport. So the two-door and four-door Bronco are gonna be built on the Ranger chassis. And so it's kind of weird saying that because it actually looks bigger than the Ranger. Now keep in mind, all of this is um, either confirmed information from Ford or it is leaked information from the, um, uh, from the internet. So some of this information could be wrong, but I have a feeling that we are going to be right. Uh, but the two-door and four-door is gonna be based on the Ranger frame. The rumor has it, uh, not rumor, but they've confirmed two different motors. Uh, the rumor has that the motors are going to be the 2.3 liter four-cylinder EcoBoost and the 2.7 liter EcoBoost as well. Now, the actual video that Ford put out that is a teaser video, um, in fact, let's go ahead and pause and let you listen to that right now. As you just heard in that video, that motor sounds shockingly similar to the 2.7 liter EcoBoost that you can already find out in today's F-150 and a couple of other vehicles. That is one of the reasons I believe 2.3 and 2.7 is gonna be the biggest engine oil choices that you're gonna have. Um, now, the cool part about the two-door and four-door is it's gonna have the bigger touch screen, it's gonna have a newer interior that's gonna be very reminiscent of the new F-150. And so yes, it's going to be a Jeep Wrangler competitor, but it's gonna have a much nicer interior. And speaking of interior, one of the things that a lot of people have been asking for is a, a, not only just an automatic, but also a manual transmission. Rumor has it, based on this leaked image right there, that it is available in a seven-speed manual transmission with a crawl gear. Yes, you heard me. That you're gonna have a reverse, a crawl gear, and then seven gears. How stinking cool is that? So you're gonna be able to get great fuel economy. You'll have the ability to have a little bit more control when you're off-roading. But for those people that just simply want an easy commute and don't wanna to have to work a clutch and a gas and a brake pedal, um, you obviously can opt for the automatic transmission. We're gonna cover the, the Bronco, I'll tell you what, uh, we'll cover the Bronco Sport here in just a second. That one is based on the Escape chassis. So that's where the biggest confusion comes in when I try and explain you know, what to expect with this new Bronco. Um, you have the Bronco Sport is going to be only available in a four-door. Think of a Ford Escape, but looking like it's designed for off-road. 
Ford has very, you know, very much come out and said that the Escape is going to be the street version and then the Bronco Sport is going to be the off-road version of the exact same vehicle. And uh, as you can see with this leaked image right there, it doesn't look bad, but once again, I don't think that's gonna be the one that people are gonna be running to the hills for, uh, for the, the Bronco when they come to the Bronco name. I think it'll be a great price point. I think um, in the car business world, um, it's gonna be a, a good switch vehicle for someone that says, you know, I really want the Bronco, but maybe I can't afford the payments. Uh, you have the ability to step into the Bronco name without actually having to step up in the Bronco price. So I think that, that'll be, a, a, I think it'll actually be a decent seller. I don't think it'll be crazy, but the big one is gonna be that one that is based off that Ranger chassis. Available in a two door, a four door. Here's the cool part is that Ranger chassis Bronco, the bigger Bronco, we'll call it that, um, is available in a hard top and a soft top, rumor has it. And here's the cool part is there's been multiple patents filed on this particular Bronco that showcases removable doors from the factory. Well, big whoop, Jeep's got that. Uh, well, keep in mind the Bronco's removable doors require no tools and like the Jeep, let's say you, you get your tools, you take the doors off, you, you, where are you gonna put the doors? You gotta leave them at, in the garage, you go to work and what happens if rain all of a sudden comes in? Well, you're screwed, you're driving back in the rain. Um, it's not fun, <laughs> it's not fun. Um, and, and so what Bronco has done is they've given you the ability to take the doors on and off with zero tools. That's pretty cool. But they also have a patented tray system in the bed of the vehicle, I say bed, in the cargo area of the Bronco that allows you to take those doors, store them, drive to where you're going. If it starts raining, just pull over, pop the doors back on, and you're good to go. So I think that's a really, really cool thing. Now, the other thing that I wanna point out to you on the Bronco itself is that, you know, well, will you take off the doors or you're gonna lose your mirrors? Well, Ford actually thought about that and they moved the mirrors from the doors onto the actual A pillar of the vehicles. So that way you can take doors on and off and you still got your mirrors. So I think that's pretty cool as well. Let's talk about the off-road readiness of the Bronco. Once again, I'm talking about the bigger Bronco itself in the two-door and the four-door variants. Now, the rumor has it is that the Bronco is gonna be available right out of the box, very off-road capable. Keep in mind, they're going for the throats of Jeep Wrangler. So um, basically what Ford is going to be offering is sway bar disconnects. So that way you can literally unhook the sway bars while you're driving, not while you're driving, but pull over to the side of the road, disconnect the, the sway bars, and then all of a sudden the suspension will be able to articulate even more than it already can do. Now the other thing is, is there's gonna be a couple of different trim levels, although we don't have the specific names for them. You can bet your bottom dollar with the, with the, the success of the Raptor F-150, they're going to have a version of the Bronco that I don't think will be called a Raptor, but I do believe you're gonna have an off-road ready version of the Bronco, which is even more capable. Uh, that will come with bigger tires. As you can see with this leaked image right there, uh, it's got the bigger tires. Ford has even put on their own Instagram, uh, and this is an official picture, you can see that is a brand new tire that Ford is advertising that they're, they, they came up with a unique tire specifically for this Bronco. Um, rumor has it it's gonna be available in either a 34 or maybe even a 35 inch tire right from the get go from the factory. I think that's pretty stinking cool. But yeah, it's gonna be a very much an off-road dedicated thought process. Now, how many of these people are gonna actually take them hardcore off-roading? Probably slim to none, but that is what sells right now. How many people take a Raptor and, and just drive it to and from the office? A lot of people, and, but, but a lot of people also buy Raptors. And so I think that found, Ford has found a, a look in a, in a particular vehicle that really makes sense. As far as the time frame on the new Bronco, my guess, and once again, this is my guess, uh, we'll find out exactly the details on July the 13th, but my guess is that you can expect to see the Bronco showing in the spring or in the summer of 2021. And this video will probably have a very short lifespan because we're gonna find out all the official data on July the 13th. But if you want some more information about or want us to be your dealer as we are placing these orders for these Broncos, I'm gonna leave a link down below that you can actually submit your information to us. No one's gonna spam you or call you, but we can get you in line and get you a reservation listed on that new Bronco. Uh, it's alabamaford.com. And once again, it'll be specifically linked down below.
Uh, by the way, uh, before we let this video go, we are doing a giveaway for a Magnaflow exhaust system. We are the exclusive dealer for the black tip Magnaflow exhaust system for the 2015 through 2020 Ford F-150. If you want to win that, uh, it's linked down below. It's tccustoms.com forward slash giveaway. And there's no hoodie that you have to buy, no shirt you have to buy. It's free. Just fill out your information and we're going to pick one winner to win that. If you want to buy that exhaust system and you just so happen to win that giveaway, we will refund your exhaust purchase 100%. So don't wait. Go ahead and order now while we actually do have them in stock. If you have any other questions, hit those up down in the comments below or just feel free to give us a call if you want some information about placing your order on the Bronco. Area code 205-491-0000 and make sure you stay subscribed with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video.